The most important thing you have to know before buying a 3D printer is what you want to print and why you want to print in 3D. For example, if you're a consumer that wants to print some house decorations or some toys, you'll need a different 3D printer than an architect, designer or engineer that needs to create prototypes with complicated schemes. Even some small manufacturers have started to use these devices for small jobs. The best 3D printer depends on how you plan to use it and what it does need to do for you. If you buy it for home use, you probably will need something that's easy to use and doesn't require complicated maintenance, while delivering good printing quality. On the other hand, professionals might need more colors, different filament types, and outstanding quality. Secondly, object size. The other thing is the size of the objects you want to print. Based on that, you can check out what printers you have at your disposal. The workspace of a 3D printer will give you a good idea of what size of objects you can print. You can't expect really big objects with consumer-based 3D printers, but then again, some large printers can't do that. Most 3D printers in the market have an area spanning 6 to 9 inches square, but there are also exceptions, smaller and larger. And thirdly, materials. The majority of the printers in the low price range use a technique called FFF, which uses plastic filaments that are melted and extruded on an object to create the shape. There are two common filament types or materials, acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, or ABS, and polylactic acid, PLA. ABS melts at a higher temperature and is more flexible, but it melts a bit unpleasant. Also, it requires a heated print bed. PLA prints look a bit more refined than smoother, but are fragile overall. There are millions of other materials used, such as HIPS, PVA, PETT, PCTPE, and many more. The first 3D printer in our list is none other than the Anycubic Photon S. This printer is one of the most easy ones to use and comes at a pretty affordable price. The Anycubic Photon S delivers some incredible print qualities, works with 405UM resin, it powers up instantly and so much more, making it one of the fan favorites in the market. For the price, you'll unquestionably be pleased with its performance. The Anycubic Photon S is a pretty simple device overall with just some moving parts in its body. The whole thing measures 200 by 220 by 400 millimeters in total and will take up little space on your workshop and even your PC desk. It has a small LCD touchscreen on the front which will help you get the hang of its settings. I have to say that the interface is rather smooth and easy to work with. Above the aforementioned screen there are the main mechanics of the device which stay closed behind the protective door. You can transfer your files to the printer via a USB cable or with the 8GB USB stick drive that comes in the package. Inside the USB, there's a sample print that'll show you the quality of it overall. The build area has a large hinged door that when you open it, you'll see the platform and the resin bath. It's a DLP printer, and like all other printers in this category, the resin bath can be quickly released. Before the first print, you will have to go through the calibration process that's pretty clearly stated in the instructions and very easy to do. I was extremely impressed with the Anycubic Photon software that's very easy to understand and use. You can put all your models in the USB and then when you connect it to the machine, you can select whichever you want from the interface. The prints went on quite smoothly without any hitch and during testing they were pretty much excellent overall. The 2K LCD screen delivers enough detail to put out a great print quality and everyone will be impressed with it, even an absolute beginner. For a 3D printer to be good for beginners, it needs to have an interesting mix of qualities, which include affordable price, ease of use, and convenience. The FlashForge Finder has them all. It's one of the quietest printers out there, delivers great print quality, has a reasonable price, connects via Wi-Fi, cable, or a thumb drive, and despite having some drawbacks, it's excellent overall. The FlashForge Finder is an open-frame 3D printer that has just a single extruder in its body for its functions. It has a boxy shape with rounded corners and smooth top edges that make it look pretty good in my opinion. It comes in two colors, including red and black, and the whole thing is also pretty small as it measures 16.5 by 16.5 by 16.5 inches in total. I should state that the whole package weighs about 27 pounds. What amazed me though was its solid build volume, which measures 5.5 by 5.5 by 5.5 inches in total. The initial setup of the FlashForge Finder is pretty easy overall and you can do it in just a few minutes. There might be some complications if you don't follow the steps correctly, but still it's pretty good as it's fully assembled right out of the box. In the package you'll also find a spool of PLA filament that needs to be placed on the rear part of the printer. To test out the full capabilities of the FlashForge Finder, I tested it with various objects to see where it lacks and where it excels. With all the objects, it excelled without a doubt and compromise. Geometric shapes, different thicknesses, verticality and so much more. 
It exceeded my expectations, and I think that a beginner will love it. If you want a 3D printer that'll deliver amazing value for its price, you have to take a look at the Comgro Creality Ender 3. This is one of the most impressive 3D printers, especially for the price that it comes at. It may have some flaws, but overall it provides great print quality and has a good build volume that at the hands of an experienced user will provide a superb experience. For those reasons, the Comgro Creality Ender 3 has become one of the most popular printers ever made. This is a fused deposition modeling printer that has a superb 0.4mm nozzle that extrudes different plastic filaments of a 1.75mm thickness. The most impressive thing about the Comgro Creality Ender 3 is that it has a printing area of about 220x220x250mm, which is surprising for the price it comes at. The minimum height of the layer measures about 100 microns, so you can print some extremely detailed models. The printing process of the device can be controlled from the PC through a USB or from G-code files that are stored on the micro SD card. The initial setup of the Comgro Creality M3 might be a bit confusing since it doesn't either come as a fully constructed package nor a fully disassembled one. The complicated parts are pre-assembled from the factory and you have to finish the frame, which can be done easily from the instructions. It will take you some time, but it can be done quite easily. With the Ender 3, you'll find the Cura 3.0.2 software, but you can update it to the latest version of it online for free. I like printing from PC as it has some advantages such as monitoring the temperature or adding some extra G-code. There are different printing speeds with the device depending on the quality of the output, but overall it's good for the price it comes at. I want to state that the quality of the print was nice as well, and I'm pleased with this device overall. The runner-up on this list is one of the most impressive 3D printers in the market, the Artillery Sidewinder X1. This is an upgraded version of an imperfect device its predecessor was, but it responded well to user feedback and now it's the favourite printer of so many people, from home users to more demanding people. Let's take a closer look. I have to say that the Artillery Sidewinder X1 is a pretty large 3D printer that measures about 216 x 159 x 34.2 inches with a filament spool on it. Since it's a large machine, it can also print large objects, and it has a build volume that measures 11.8 by 11.8 by 15.7 inches, which is amazing overall. I have to say that the print quality is also amazing, since it goes down to 100 microns and works with a wide variety of filaments, including ABS, TPU, PLA, and even PETG. Just by looking at the filament list, you'll see that the Artillery Sidewinder X1 is a high-end device, and as a true one, it's equipped with a heated glass print bed and power to heat it rather quickly. It also has rather quick print speed, so you can boost things up when the need arises. In most cases, it provides about 50 mm per second, but you can still speed it up. In terms of connectivity, the options are very rich here, as you can use Wi-Fi, SD card, and USB stick to upload your models to the device, and then select them from the color touchscreen, which on its own is very intuitive. On top of all that, the Artillery Sidewinder X1 works very quietly, and that's very surprising to see when you put its speed into the equation. You can comfortably sleep in the same room while the Artillery Sidewinder X1 is operating. The premium quality of this one can be seen in its construction as well. For example, its frame is made from thick and sturdy aluminium with great cable management features and everything looking pretty safe from our point of view. Extremely stable and made to last a lifetime. If you want the best 3D printer to support your hobby or get started with it, I'd suggest the Dremel Digilab 3D20. This printer is one of the easiest to use and works with PLA only, giving you plenty of ideas to work with without confusing anyone. On top of that, print quality is amazing. When I first tried 3D printing, I was a little scared to be honest, because I watched a lot of YouTube videos and read through a lot of tutorials, but still it wasn't enough. Until I tried the Dremel Digilab 3D20, which was educational as a whole, and thanks to its preset 3D models, you can get going instantly. The Dremel Digilab 3D20 also comes fully assembled right out of the box, and in the package you'll spot the manual, quick start guide, power cable, USB cable, SD card, a Dremel filament spool, build tape and leveling sheet complete with the tools. This means you're ready to go instantly. The Dremel Digilab 3D20 works via the fused deposit modeling method that a lot of printers use these days. The interactive operating interface consists of just a touchscreen display that gives you plenty of information about the process and allows you to control the process. This 3D printer has a build capacity that measures 230 by 150 by 140 millimeters, which is more than enough for hobbyists. It has a plastic heat bed that needs to be adjusted manually, but it's better that way since you're taught about the basics of 3D printing. 
It has a single extruder that heats the filament to 230 degrees Celsius and has a speed of 100 millimeters per second with a great resolution of 100 microns. It works flawlessly with the Dremel software, but you can also use the Simplify 3D, which is amazing in its own right. No significant disadvantages, establishing itself as the best 3D printer for the consumer market.